Uh, another player last night, I forget who. Oh, Aztec, he beat Aztec, Aztec last night. Oh. Aztecs are very, I mean, he's been out of the scene, but he's still like a very strong player nonetheless. Boss, at this point. Hidden boss. Honorable mention. <laughs> <laughs> Then we got, ooh. I like me some sea bass. Sea bass. I like me some Big Mac. I'm good with this. Are they both sitting down? Oh, yeah, let's go. This is going to be a good set. So we got sea bass. They're both, okay, real quick. Sea bass and Big Mac are like, I think the two chillest people in all of Chicago Smash 4. Yes. We have, I think the tier list goes sea bass, Big Mac, and then God tier. Like, it's like Meta Knight. Like, like zero on the PR is uh, Semo. <laughs> Semo is like the chillest guy I've met in my life. Like he's like yeah. He's, yeah, he's pretty cool. I uh, I just played him in bracket. He was really like just calm and just smiled a lot. And I, that's, those are my favorite people in the scene. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like yeah, let's let's just hang out. <laughs> We're playing a set. It's fine. <laughs> what? How was your day, man? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Become their best friend in the middle of a bracket. Exactly. Oh my god. You both DQ yourself to go get like ice cream or something. <laughs> the perfect friendship world. <laughs> oh, let's just let's just go to Pacland. <laughs> my heroes. Alright, so this matchup well, wait, so, it should so be played. Sea Bass, just so you guys know, plays Bowser, Big Boozer. Mac. Boozer. Boozer. And uh Big Mac is Sheik. She Sometimes Falcon, Falcon. Yeah. Some one time Ryu, I remember. <laughs> That's never coming back out. Mario, don't Mario. Mario. Oh yeah. Uh his bar is juicy. It's okay. No, it's I judge it heavily because I, I play the character. <laughs> um Seabass on the round does have a pocket game and watch. Ooh. Oh he he played DK like I remember like two weeks. Oh really? Yeah, and I <laughs> and I want him to say Bowser. <laughs> Bowser Sheik the is like super upset easy or heavy. So I'm curious, that could easily go in multiple different directions. Survival. Survival. I wonder. I I didn't go to the demo. We had a demo recently in Chicago. Oh, uh, it was the uh, last week. Yeah. I or uh, Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, whatever. Of. It was like, the past weekend. The yeah, past weekend. Thank you. That's the one I was yeah. looking for. And uh, I'm wondering if we got to hurt. People heard the, like the announcer because I haven't actually heard. I don't know if I heard the announcer ever. Does it change every game? I came in with Smash Bros. Um. Game. Yes. Okay. Because it's like, Melee! Well, it's the same person, yeah. but just like different like voices. Because they're cool. Yeah. Because right, so of their Nintendo. Game one. FD? That's fine. Because, I mean, uh, you're, you, as both characters, you, I mean, you're going to have like your just kind of neutral game, which is like, try to get that one grab to yeah. begin with, and then you're going to go from there. So lights are actually very annoying for Sheik. Uh, she she can bear string, but it's uh, she doesn't get the super optimal combo such as there. Uh, what you'll see Big Mac focus on is single hit bears and back hairs, and then focusing on ledge trapping uh, sea bass instead. And all all he needs is one. I'm kidding. <laughs> so sea bass. Throwing out a lot of options and a uh, disadvantage. I feel like he's try trying to scramble and get raw hits instead of uh, going for the grabs and kind of 50-50s, which is where uh, Game of Watch thrives. Ooh, that what? Oh, okay. We take those. He didn't. Um, he didn't grab the ledge, so the dash, the get up attack definitely got the either a two frame or just didn't catch him yet. But up, they're gonna take it. Very good recognition from Big Mac. Uh, playing the 50-50, not waiting the first time, waiting the second time. I, I love game watches up smash. I hate it. <laughs> I just like the, the like aesthetic of it. Like he takes out a diving helmet to do it. Like it just <laughs> it just wants something like that. Because with Mario, I mean, when you up smash, it's just you know his head. Like there's nothing to it really. But it's just like, like, yeah. something about it being a diving. If Mario put on a diving helmet, I'd love that. I mean, he's putting on a builder helmet next game. Oh, true. Got to keep that. Uh, keep your safe at work. Exactly. So, which are now Big Mac focusing on the ledge trapping. Uh, that would have been really cheeky if he got that. Really good extra credit. Almost uh, laughing him. I feel like that's where characters like Sheik and Diddy really like excel. They get them extra credit a lot easily because they can get those quick 30% combos and reset. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, perfect. Big Mac doing well, game one. Reading air dodges. Ledge trapping. Being a Sheik. Big Mac is one of the contenders to win tonight. Uh, I don't know if he's the he's one of the higher seeds for sure. Uh, he's probably first seed. First seed, probably first okay. seed. Yeah, uh, it's probably like seeding wise, Big Mac, Earl, Snoople. No, Big Mac Dan. Oh, Earl. I forgot Dan was here. Yeah. I didn't see Dan. He's yeah, exactly. I, I, <laughs> fact, but I didn't see him yet, so like that's why I'm like, huh. All right, so we have the Boozer, the tried and true. 
Back on FD, not sure. Playing it super safe. I, I honestly don't blame Big Mac. Well, I don't know why. You, I don't know if like Bowser Sheik, you want to go on FD. What do you mean? Like, I feel like she can just camp you out like way yeah. easier. So that's why I'm like, yeah. wait. It is see. easier to grab landings though, which is the reason why heavies like FD. I guess you have to worry about like big ceilings with like uh, what's it called like um, Dreamland Battlefield. Oh, I see that. Right. Yeah. So I mean, I guess yeah. And I, I also, I guess, with Town City, you have to be careful because, I mean, uh, Up Air does kill earlier, technically speaking. Okay. And especially since uh, she will rack up more percent on you than her, yeah. per se. So she always has lead in. You have yeah. to worry about getting those hits in. So I, I see this, actually. And you don't go to Lilat. <laughs> yeah, of course. You never go to Lilat. So to get down there twice. I think Mike's doing a good job of just resetting. Uh, he's recognizing that Seabass has been pressing a lot of buttons, so he's just letting Seabass press and punishing for it. Uh, not playing it very safe, knowing he doesn't oh. want to take that risk. Yeah, back throw him, yep. Keep him off stage, just try to make some work. So this is actually it. very scary, because... His kill? Ooh. Yep. I was about to say it too. I need that world's smallest violin now, please. <laughs> 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 so that was a really good condition because he best did down air twice and then he did the uh, down B, but then Big Mac just recognized it, so easy peasy. But even game now, and I mean, as we saw first stock, I mean, it it's always about the clutch. It's always about the clutch, yeah. Getting that, I mean, again, like a, getting that one grab is really you know all you really need. So. uh... Big Mac's gonna be Big Mac. When I was first learning how to play Sheik, told me that the first thing you have to learn is how to ledge trap because that is where all her percent. Oh my Ooh, god! Get the perfect. That was a risk. That's juicy. <laughs> that was a risk. <laughs> got the punish. Got some nice percent. And keeps yeah. racking it up because of it. Big Mac doing a really good job just ledge trapping, recognizing his spots. I think Bowser has my favorite name move, which is Whirling Fortress, which is this uppy. It's the uppy. Yeah, that's that's my favorite name. I think. Because fishes don't bounce. I mean, yes they do. Have you seen a magic art? That's uh, uh splash. <laughs> or bounce. Like the game. Oh. So, fun fact with side B, I learned this recently. Uh person with the lower percent actually controls where it goes. I think it's just majority control. Yeah, majority yeah, actually yeah, majority control. Pretty much all control then, but <laughs> at that point. Alright, so we're back at that dangerous spot. Oh did he What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Oh, I <laughs> <laughs> we take those? We earned those, actually. That, that was, was a hard read. <laughs> that was the biggest yaw eat I've ever seen. <laughs> what? <laughs> really good play coming out from him. He just ran across the stage and did it, right? He he read the jump. Yeah. He read Big Mac's jump, because that's what Big Mac's been doing. He's been short hopping or full hopping. I mean, that's she, a, yeah, Sheik happens. I mean, Sheik, yeah. And you're going to go to Sheikville. <laughs> Ooh. So, this is the poor man's FD. <laughs> This is FD with an extra platform that doesn't exist. They can always genuinely back to FD, but they choose not to, which I kind of understand if you're both players. Because you're like, okay, I won one, and it's okay, I won one. So you kind of want to, like... Probably a Big Mac banned, um... Town? Not Town, well, uh, uh, Triplots. See, Big Mac chose. Seabass was banned. Oh, yeah. So I think Seabass banned Lila, or, yeah, Lila. Eh, maybe not, probably. probably. I, who knows, Yeah, honestly. this is honestly, there's so many weird stages. I feel like a lot of like even some people are like, oh man, like this, like Little Mac, like Little Mac mains have no agreed opinion. Mean, you know, like what's the worst <laughs> stage? But some of them like other stages. I think that's true like about a lot of characters. Like I think some people think it's quite Lila, specific. Like for Cloud, like some people, some Clouds have talked to think Lila's is his best stage. Some think Battlefield, yeah. obviously. Some person told me, uh, what's it called? FD is the best stage. <laughs> okay. So I mean, to each their own. So uh, getting back to the match, we uh, Big Mac racked up, I think, all of that percent on ledge. The entire time we had that for a minute, he basically let's trap for a minute. Ooh, oh, really good because he had a re grab, he had to get that re grab. That was really smart by Big Mac. And now, I mean, and now it's even you're in a really bad position if you're a sea bass for multiple reasons. Oh, she comes. No. Oh, I missed this. So, Big Mac is notorious for being unable to perfect pivot. If he gets two in a row, it's like a national event. <laughs> <laughs> this is a national event now. <laughs> <laughs> So which, this is where it gets really hard. Uh, Bowser basically has to get two really uh, two hard confirms, or two hard reads, and I don't think Big Mac will probably give those uh, give those away to him. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, 
if you're a Seabass right now, I mean, I you just kind of have to take most of this and kind of be like, okay, my options wait for are. Your opportunities. I mean, you're gonna have to get the good wait by Seabass, but yeah. I got the rack up the percent to like, I, like probably now maybe maybe a little bit less or more, a little bit a little more, more. Who knows? Definitely. Maybe like a pummel or two. Yeah, probably with a pummel. Um, and then you're gonna have to. Oh. Uh, I was say, then you're gonna have to rack up percent again with rage, and that just means like all your combos do like a little bit less now. Or it's harder to pull off some combos. Big Mac's just doing a great job of staying on top of Seabass and not letting him press buttons. Fair. Yep. Ooh, oh, really catching good job. him. Not gonna take it yet though. 140. Almost at max rage. Starting that dominance that we expect. Max rage. Exact. Alright. And Gansovich gonna take it. Good set. Good stuff. By uh, Big Mac. Good set by both players. Yeah, that was a good set. Yep. And with that set done, we'll be wrapping up uh, right now.